Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is your boy Polo with Polo Fields Line Service. And in today's video, what we're gonna talk about is how do you know if you have a fungus in your line? Hmm. Let's jump right into the video. So first and foremost, what you want to do is go out in your line, look at your line. Preferably go out six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning, and you want to just basically just browse over your line. Look and see if you see anything abnormal. If you have a money green line and you see little brown spots in your line, look at those lines closely. One of the main things you want to kind of look for is mycelium. Mycelium sitting on the grass blade is it looks more like cotton. So it'll be spread throughout all on the grass blades, as you can see in this these pictures. It'll be all over the grass blades. That right there is a sign that you either going to have dollar spot, you're either going to have brown patch, you're either going to have plithium blight. Those are the ones that have mycelium on the grass blades. Now, if you are unsure about what type of disease that you have, take some pictures, see if you can get on Google and look and see if some of those pictures match what is showing up in your lawn. You may have dollar spot, you may have brown patch, you may have plithium blight, you may have melting out, you may have leaf spot. There are several type of diseases that may be in your lawn, but you need to identify what disease it is so that you can be able to either purchase or call a specialist to come over and to spray your lawn. Now, if you're going to do it on your own, first and foremost, make sure that you identify what it is. If you can't identify what it is, then that's when you need to go to your local extension office, take some pictures, take some pictures far away, take some pictures close up, and take some pictures standing over the disease. So that way they'll have different angles to be able to look at and they can better be able to help you identify what disease that you may be dealing with. Then, if you are totally unsure and not comfortable with using these chemicals, that's when you need to call a specialist to come over, let them look at it, and then they can be able to put the right chemicals on your line. So many people will resort to using fungicides for the wrong disease. For example, if you have plithium blight, plithium blight will basically be more of, it will have mycelium on the blades, but it will be more waxy, it'll be more laid over, it'll be more greasy, it'll be like someone just basically put some Vaseline all over the grass blades and left it there. If you are trying to apply some propiconazole on that, it's not going to do anything to that plithium blight. You're going to need to get some Subdue Max to be able to take care of that plithium blight. You know if you have plithium blight because plithium blight is going to spread quickly and it will tear your line up in a matter of days. So act quickly, don't drag your feet. If you got brown spots in your yard and you don't know what it is, it's best that you act on it immediately. Now here is some grass blades that I pulled up from the ground. As you can see, you see these lesions? This is what you call lesions, these spots on the blade. See the rest of where the disease is? but the, the disease is not on the crown. This is the crown right here. If the crown is green and the crown is healthy, the plant is alive. But if the whole crown is damaged, then the plant will die. But dollar spot is only gonna reside on the blades. It's not going to come all the way down to the crown and damage the crown. You see how it is here? See how the disease is on the blade? Disease is on the blade. Disease is on the blade. Let's look at the small one. Disease is on the blade, on the blade, on the blade. 
not on the crown. I'm back. And yes, I got on different clothing, but that is only because normally whenever I go out and spray and I'm done with my day, when I get done and I get back to the shop, I immediately take off my clothing, put those things in the bag, and I put on something different. Because the one thing I don't want to do is track all of those things into my home. You're spraying highly concentrated chemicals. You don't want to be rubbing up against anything and you still got some residue on your clothing. So you do that as well, regardless if you're getting stuff from the big box store or if you're getting stuff online. Make sure that you change your clothing and make sure that you wear your PPE, your boots, long pants, long sleeves, gloves, glasses. Make sure that you're wearing what you need to wear to protect yourself. One last tip and then we'll be done. If you have the disease in your lawn, make sure that you bag your clippings. Don't side discharge them. We're trying to get the disease out of your lawn, not keep it in your lawn. And when you get done cutting, make sure that you clean up under your mower because some of those clippings can get up under your mower and stick there, okay? We don't want to sit up there and keep the disease around. We want to get rid of it. Now y'all make sure that y'all stay with me because we're going to go back to that lawn and I'm going to show you in a future video that chemical that I use, that Asprop, how it worked and how everything is working over in their line as far as the disease going away. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned and we gonna keep on doing what we gotta do. This is your boy Polo with Polo Fields Line Service and y'all know the catchphrase. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. Just know that we working. Peace.